Hey, 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 Leo. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Thursday, February 4th to the 5th intuitive love tarot read this is for my leo sun moon rising venus jupiter and north node this will not resonate with everybody but hopefully it will with you guys today please don't forget to like share and subscribe right down below there leo if you would before you leave i do appreciate it and thank you so much for all of your like shares and subscriptions if you guys are interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below don't forget to comment as well let me know if this resonates i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live all right leo i'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment but first there's tarot your energy leo is the king of pentacles i like it what's on your mind the princess of pentacles what's coming towards leo the king of wands and what do you think about what's coming towards you leo the seven of wands all righty at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords here leo so let's see what spirit has for you? <laughs> They're saying, let's get ready to rumble. You know what they do in the boxing rings? Okay, why? This is your life, Leo. Getting pumped up for it. Getting excited for the next chapter. This is how you roll with life. And this is what we wish for you to keep on doing. Assign yourself this role to pump yourself up every day with this encouraging word. Feel that rumble inside of you. Use affirmations to get your day going. This is who you are. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they were showing me, I forget the dude's name. I used to watch boxing a lot, actually, years and years and years ago. Like the Mike Tyson days, if you can remember that. Uh, but the dude that's always in the center of the ring that says, let's get ready to rumble. I forget his name, but they were showing me him. HBO character, dude. All right. So Leo, King of Pentacles is your energy, which I love. Taurus energy. So you are feeling grounded. You are feeling pretty well off in your career sector. Anyway, why is Leo feeling this? Pretty confident. I like this feeling. The devil. Ah. The ten of swords. And the six of cups. I feel like, Leo, you overcame something from the past recently. This love that was from the past that may have been sort of clinging on to your memory bank here. Very tempting to go back to that time period. I feel like you're finally coming to terms with it and letting it go and you're feeling very good about it. You're doing shadow work. I feel like you've done that. But I feel more that it was almost an addiction to the memories 
it's almost like when they say stop living in the past, right? Sort of like that. These are memories that you would go back to very, very often. Now, it's not bad to reminisce, right? Especially if they're the good memories, if they are the memories that, you know, warm your hearts and make you feel good and make you feel that love. But I feel like this was sort of um, a crutch for you and you overcame it or you are overcoming it and you're feeling very good about it. So what's on your mind is the Princess of Pentacles. I just heard what's next. So now it's like, what's next? Okay, I overcame that. I'm ready to go. Tell me why is the Princess of Pentacles here? Hmm. The Hanged Man. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Temperance card. Yeah. You're all psyched up for what's next. What's next that I am going to invest my time into? I feel like you're ready for love. That's what I'm feeling. Like, okay, I'm ready for love. Um, I'm investing in myself as far as career goes. I'm healing. Now I want to create from this from this uh, pain that I felt from the past. I want to use this energy to create. This is something that I've been waiting for. I see things from a different light. I see things from a different perspective and I'm ready for love. What's coming towards you is the King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy, Leo. Somebody very exciting, very mm, outgoing. I'm getting very good looking male or female, does not matter. Why is this King of Wands here? King of Cups. Ooh, this... This is an emperor and empress, four of cups. The tower, this is going to surprise you because it's going to, they just said overcome. So it's going to overcome you. Like it's, it's going to be a major wow factor. You're not gonna be able to miss it. This will not be a missed opportunity, not in the very least. No, 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 no. What's going to be, oh, see, this is why you're reacting to this, the seven of wands. You're reacting to this like, whoa, what's coming at me? You thought you could see everything. You thought you had the higher ground here. You thought you were in control. But boom, there it is. Clarify the seven of wands. I feel like this is an emperor or an empress. Yep, two of cups, 10 of cups. This takes you by storm. Five of swords. Ooh, really? Eight of pentacles, okay. Somebody that you work with or at your workplace is going to see this relationship and be jealous. But it is a frenemy, so be wary of this. It is somebody at work. Okay, they're going to see. It's like they're going to see you go from zero to a hundred within the blink of an eye. Seriously. And this is why it takes you by storm. Nine of wands. Yeah, because you're the wounded warrior here. But I feel that you're going to let these walls down. You're going to let these walls down. Yep. Eight of wands. You're going to become emotionally vulnerable because I feel like you're just going to melt in this person's arms. That's what I feel like. Yep. You're going to melt in their arms. This is, wow, this is beautiful. All right. So what advice do you have for Leo? Ace of swords. Gain this clarity and truth. Um, within this healing that you're doing, right? Looking at the past here, concentrate on your now, on your um, developing your career and really building and nurturing yourself. Yeah, and healing uh, because you're really getting ready for this individual. Yep, you're getting ready. Be patient because your ships are about to come in for whoever this is for. Big time.
Oh, sometimes I just wish I was a fly on the wall with some of these readings so I can see you guys, your reactions when things like this happen. Synchronicity. Are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending you at this time? People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from spirit the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. So pay attention to those people around you at this time and why they're possibly there. Why are you running into these people, even strangers? I'm telling you, strangers can sometimes teach us big lessons that we sometimes take us off guard and we're not aware of until after the fact, but yeah, all right, Leo, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below. I just saw 111, by the way, 1101. Uh, please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have it. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Leo, you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on The Dailies. Namaste.